Hello guys, I hope you're doing fine. Now today, let's talk about why esports and sports sucks. Why people don't watch sports anymore? Why people don't watch esports anymore? Not only because most of these organizations and studios are outdated or lack innovation, but, but because YouTube and social media is the biggest business in the world. Now, what is the problem with sports? Why do people don't watch esports anymore? Again, because just like YouTube, it's just a huge business where players don't even earn their spot. They literally get handpicked. And this is why nobody watches esports anymore. Esports and sports is about true competition. People want to see who's the best, right? That's why we watch sports. We want to see who's the best. We want to, you know, uh, make uh, work on ourselves, self-improvement, community tournaments, sense of community. But everything has been lost. You know, UFC, the biggest organization in the world, they also don't organize tournaments. They stage every fight. So why would anybody watch sports still? Why would anyone watch esports? Some, you know, some studios are a bit more innovative and they use drops to attract players to watch uh, uh, esports, you know, which is a really good idea. But at the same time, but once you get out, he won't kind of need to fight. Look at owner, he wants to go in. He doesn't like. I mean, yeah, like, okay, this is League of Legends, Dota. 2-3 level advantage can make such a huge difference, right? And then you can make prostin out of it. Okay, whatever, but when was the last time you actually organized fair and competitive tournaments where players actually earn their rankings? And this is the sole reason why sports and esports sucks. Because it's all just a huge business. We turned content creation, we turned sports into a business. You know, there were always politics in sports and they still are. And they always use social media and countless of promotional accounts and, and bots just to promote their fighters. And that is fine when the organization, when the community organized tournaments and give everybody a chance, right? But no, when you handpick players, when those players who call themselves, the, you know, this is the problem with social media and esports. Nobody deserves anything. They don't play for the spot. They get handpicked, right? And then they make insane amount of money from social media and kids who think these guys are one of the best, right? No, it's all fake. It's all an illusion. Because if you think you are one of the best, you're going to get a lot of money from social media and views, right? But in reality, all, most of these players didn't earn anything. And all most big YouTubers have been manipulating YouTube for years, kids for years to make money, right? And these pro players are the same. It's all just a huge business and that's why nobody watches sports anymore. Nobody's watching UFC anymore. Who's still watching UFC anymore? Their videos are full of bots. Uh, there is no actual community tournaments anymore. What this... What these sport organiza organizers don't get is that if you do things right, if you just organize community tournaments, if you have good rank functionality, rewards, then you naturally get viewership and sponsorship. Right, because people want to see tournaments. This is how Ultimate Fighting Championship started. They want to see who's the best. And this is how you naturally get viewership and sponsorship if you just organize community tournaments. But when you handpick every fight, what's even the point of watching sports? It's all just a joke. The competitive spirit has been lost. The sense of community has been lost. Why would anybody watch sports when every fight is staged? When was the last time any ultimate fighting championship like Conor or Islam actually deserved their title? Or title shot? Never. Because they never won actual uh, uh, fair tournaments. They never did that. They stage every fight for social media. And those guys who manipulate social media with countless of promotional accounts, those guys will get title shot. Not those guys who work hard and win fights. That doesn't matter. UFC is a business and that's why nobody watches it anymore. Just bots and, uh, uh, you know, Abu Dhabi promotional accounts that try to get control of UFC. Because when you don't have a good core, 
when your organization is failing, UFC, Smite, Harris are typical organizations who have such a good promise in their hands, but they don't, don't know how to use it. They don't organize tournaments, they have zero community management. In fact, they censorship people instead of bots and, you know, and this is the problem. Only reason why, for example, UFC seems popular is because of bots. I, I because Americans are in the EU and they don't, and they don't, you know, they they still watch UFC even well, though it's a total joke, right? Vai assistir o Glory, né? Tip number nine is something. <coughs> yeah, bot promo account, yes. Only two, two years old, yes. <coughs> Only two years old, very nice, you see. Very nice. You see this comment with thousand likes? And it's of course fake positive comments. And this is how these organizations uh, make it seem like they are popular. It's bots and promotional accounts. My assumption is that uh, 50 to 70 percent of accounts or top like comments on YouTube are fake, fake both promo accounts. And uh, this is also, I think, why YouTube has no future. Or YouTube also make it seems like why YouTube is doing some great because bots and promotional accounts, it's all fake. It's all huge business. That's why nobody's taking YouTube seriously. That's why nobody's taking sports seriously anymore. Right? It's all just a huge joke. When you turn... Uh, when you turn things into a business, then what's even the point of watching it? You have to organize fair community tournaments. You have to give, uh, you have to listen to your community, right? Smite is a typical example. Best action combat on the market. Best social system. Yet they still didn't do nothing out of it. And only those guys who abused SPL probably could they only those guys appear at the top of the YouTube, of course, right? No community tournaments, just bans and censorship, no rank leaderboards for Arena, even though it's the most popular game out. They, instead of adding content to the game, they removed content from the game, right? So they removed uh, ranked Arena, they removed Clash, they removed Siege, they removed Adventures. And you know what is the new Smite content? Pay $30 for a skin. They don't even organize tournaments, they don't even add new content to the game, even though the game has been better for seven years ago than it is now. And then they wonder why are we not doing well? Why esports is not doing well? Why sports is not doing well? Because you guys are not know how to do things properly. And then if if, if the organization don't do things properly, uh, players and community won't do either and they then will just they will just spam about religion crap in uh, sports groups right or whatever instead of actually talking about the community tournaments <coughs> totally clueless this guy you know, there are people who work you know what is the problem with business that people are in it because they need to survive because they need body they're not in there because they know what are they doing and this is the same with sports, esports, everything, YouTube, 